good morning, Flag. <laughs> well, how does this look on me? He's got enough socks and extra clothes. Oh, I almost forgot a wool jacket. Now, why would he want a wool jacket? Well, Boston's so far north, it's much colder there, isn't it? Well, even so, it's summertime. That's true, but even if it is summertime... Better to be safe than sorry. Now, let me see. Jody! Imagine he's out in the barn saying goodbye to his little brother. Now, I'll be gone just a little over two weeks, Flag, so you be good while I'm away, okay? And you better do everything that Ma tells you to do. Got that? And don't you go wandering around, neither. You see, there's a big old bear out there. He's called Slewfoot, and he goes like... Oh, hey! <laughs> Hey, now you take me serious now. I don't want you to be eaten up now. And there are rattlers out there, too. You understand me? Mm. Well, Flag, I have to be going now. Mm. Morning! Morning to you. Penny, looks like it's time to put these two innocent young boys on a boat. We'd best be getting on, boys. Oh, I hope we haven't forgotten anything. All that luggage. Well, you'd think the boys was leaving for good. <laughs> You're not to give Miss Twink any trouble, do you understand me? Mm-hmm. Now, boys, I'm gonna teach you something helpful. You see, I think it's good for you both to have a little charm you can recite. In case you get nervous on the way. What kind of charm? How's the charm go? Boston's in America, too. Huh? <laughs> That's a good one. That's how uh, you say it. But Boston is in... America, too. Louder. Boston, Boston is, is in... in... America, America, too! Right, Boston is in America, too. Yeah, Boston is in America, too! Bye! Hey, uh, hey, Bob, be sure to take real good care of Flag! Bye! Don't worry! Bye. 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 Have a good time! You sure got a nice mall. She cares a lot about you. Look how she packed a big suitcase for you. Yeah. Is that all you brought along? Mama said to wash my shirt when it gets dirty in a river or something. Truth is, our folks can't get the feel of a place as far away as that. They think it's just the same as going away on a little hunting trip, you see. Mm, you're right, Fox Boston. Sure ain't like home. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Oh. Uh, oh. You hear me? Flag, get on back there. Hurry up. You want me to stop? No, but go faster. Jody. Oh, it's all right. He's old enough to take care of himself. Flag, you get on home now, you hear? He's given up. Fuck, the wharf's over there. I got some place to go before that. Whoa. The boys are wearing these clothes all the way up to Boston. You stay here. I'll be right back, you two. Say, where are you two boys going? Like he told you, we're going to Boston. Hmm, I don't believe it. Well, it's true anyway. Huh? Miss Twink invited us, see? And you're jealous because you're not going with us. I had a hard time ordering this. Mm. Not much call for fine jewelry mm. in this small town. Wrap it for me, with a bow and all. I bet it's for Miss Twink, if you ask me. 
Well, who else do you think he'd be giving it to? But Buck's not going to Boston. Well, of course. He's going to ask you to take it with you. You better be careful you don't get held up. It's that expensive, you Lily? Pa says it costs as much as a load of fertilizer. <gasps> that much? Okay, let's go. Boy, you got some nerve, you lady. Here. I'm going to the wharf to see you off to Boston. Well, I wish you'd stay here. Hmm. What are you doing, huh? Bill? Shh. Don't talk so loud. Look. Oh. When you get to Boston, I want you to tell Miss Twink that this is my, uh... Or that this is my, uh... That it's your gift? Shh! <laughs> Look, she's going to be taking care of my little brother now, isn't she? Mm-hmm. So she's entitled mm -hmm. to something. Now, let's just think a second. Well, Jody's suitcase will be safer. I'll put it at the bottom. Uh -huh. 